one game, as the girls were leaving the locker room to perform, the coach told me to remain behind. She then stated, Angelina, you are about to be cut for a lifetime. I had no clue what she was referring to as I had worked very hard on my appearance. She then walked me over to a corner of the locker room with herself and several other alumni helpers. Before I knew it, Texans logo dub tick was found and I heard this will hurt a bit as I watched my skin being pulled, stretched and taped tightly on myself. I believe that was the worst part, watching myself being taped as other alumni watched. I felt humiliated and ashamed of my own body. We did file an amended lawsuit for her in Texas this morning, adding her to our previous lawsuit, adding certain claims like assault, which this is, as we, that is what we allege in our lawsuit, uh, and, uh, you know, sexual harassment, hostile workplace, and so forth. I stand here today to try and make sure no other girl or woman has to endure the same humiliation. What other profession has thousands of people competing for a handful of spots only to body shame them, bully them, dictate what other jobs they can have, all while paying them $7.25 per hour? I think an entire reform on how professional cheerleaders are treated is long overdue. They do so because they want to make life better for the future. This is abuse as far as I'm concerned.